doesn't hurt to get the introductions okay. on there, right? <laughs> All right, we're rolling. All right, um, and Brian, this is Eric. So, uh, so there are um, a few reasons that the Aherns uh, are requesting a partial demolition of the building. Um, it was designed and built in the mid 1930s, designed by Delano and Aldrich. Sunroom at the back, corner addition, and then additions. Um, but the original house is kind of from uh, this slate roof that we're seeing around to this point. So from this elevation, it's pretty intact. Um, but from the sides and the, from the back, it's less so. So especially with those changes and with the um, inside renovation. said there are some kind of brilliant pieces one of which is the great room here and um, the library the interior of the library is really beautiful and then of course there's a number of hardware fixtures things like that what the um, Aherns are proposing is to actually relocate um, the great room to be at the top of the block uh, and as a as a accessory building this is a great room right here. This is right here, so it would, from that, from that um, uh, taller peak over, okay. would be relocated uh, t over towards the bluff um, as a, an accessory building. Okay. Um, they're also proposing uh, designing a space within the new home uh, to work with the existing library interior. Um, and then uh, the process of demolition will really be a process of recycling uh, where, and we've done this on other buildings, where the full house piece by piece will be disassembled um, and donated uh, and or either used on the project or donated and um, that creates a benefit for the person receiving the donation and also for the acres. So it's kind of a, a good program. Um, so Tim, this is all the original facade. Uh, up to up to the garage. That, up to the garage addition. That's right. And it's like 1935. Uh, so the uh, the and um, some of the steel windows and doors. Uh, that um, that are really beautiful and quite functional, uh, but they're single pane. So it, part of the issue with the building also is that it's 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 of a period, uh, and that period was large, 14,000 square feet, 14 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, nine bedrooms, um, and uninsulated. So utility costs are are uh, in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, so it's uh, it's it's unmanageable um, as a as it is for the acres. It's just too large, which kind of leads to their vision of the property is uh, to first subdivide the zero chamber chain, which is a lot between. and 5 Cambridge, which is where the Aprons live now. So between the tennis courts and the white That's house. right. That's right. Okay. And so um, subdivide that property between the Aprons' current property, which is the White House, and this property, and make it no longer a buildable lot. So it's, it's a, a larger uh, approach uh, and have it be a very natural uh, prairie-like landscape coming in, do restoration to the ravine. Um, which has seen kind of damage along the ravine over the years. 
There's a fair amount of restoration of the bluff that needs to be done. And they would do that. Um, there's some current stairs and things like that that need to be done. And then really have a very energy efficient green home uh, in that landscape that's uh, more the scale of a modern home uh, versus the scale of this home. Um, and yes, and, and, and kind of be here forever is, is what I'm saying. So that's, that's really their vision is a very kind of uh, energy efficient, green, uh, natural landscape at home. And so those are, that's kind of the driving forces right now um, with the eight residents. It's, uh, the site is, is spectacular and um, the houses are another year. So um, maybe we could walk, do you want to walk around the outside and then in or what, it's up to you. Sure. So is it is it fourteen thousand feet of the original structure? Is that include the additional garden room and the infill? I believe and, it includes the, the garden room, not the garage. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I'm I I think it's including the uh, finished third floor spaces, which I'll show you. There's a number okay. of bedroom spaces up there, okay. um, uh, but it it excludes the garage. Um, I think probably does include the. Uh, the sunroom addition at the back. Okay. We haven't done a full drawing and um, calculation of that. That's more from the real estate. Okay. Okay. Uh, Looks like it'll be dry now or later. So stretch your legs now. You can stretch your legs after. Yeah, why don't we? Why don't we walk around this way and okay. then we can come in by the garage and kind of walk through the house. Sure. Yeah, and just to be while we've got it, if you want to just shoot this. So we'll start. We'll come in at the garage, and then we'll, from the facade perspective here, we'll kind of work from the left to the right, working through for the gray room, and then we'll go up the second floor, the third floor, right? Mm -hmm. Same as the first time. And right? then the basement. Cool. Don't forget the basement. Don't forget the basement. Uh, any questions, anybody, at this point? All right. Um, no, they're planning a want to keep the steel windows is that correct so or? we're looking into if we could do a, a greenhouse and garden structure that where it could be single pane and and use them because they're still despite being 90 years old they're still functional um, they're just thermally terrible uh, and they're very valuable people are, are paying a lot of money for those types of windows but um, so we'd like to try to reuse those we'd like to use the brick uh, Chicago Common Brick, the slate, um, the great room, and then recycle everything else. So, so by recycling, I mean each and every fixture and, and hardware component would be taken down, doors would be sold, each brick would be palleted and sold, um, every piece of the house, and we've done that. Yeah, everything. Yeah, I, I mean, like, it's amazing. We, we watched it happen on on a large house and it's um uh it's very 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 methodical and thorough and the design's still in process so we don't know exactly how those components get used but but they're very open to having them be part of the new design and certainly the great room we we uh, vetted whether the great room can be moved and put onto a new foundation and we've been assured yes that's possible site um, inventoried by an arborist and uh, and surveyed for uh, topos um, once that's all documented they'd like to take down the uh, tennis courts eventually they, they want to build a pickleball court um, and remove any uh, 
dead or dying trees um, and start thinking about uh, relocation of like pear trees and things like that on the property. So they'd love to do some some you know initial landscape type work set. The swimming pool was a 1950s edition. Yeah, it's really beautiful. I think the ravine, the ravine needs some cleaning up with yeah. stuff that's happened over time. But um, is there any rain? Uh, not so much that. Just more things uh, being, you know, dumped in that need to be cleaned out. Uh, and the agrees are uh, excited to do that. They're really excited about enjoying the property. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful view of the cemetery in the winter. Um, and then it's the southernmost property in Lake Bluff before you get right. to the coast. porch structure and then uh, the three-sided addition and the sunroom addition were all I think from I have it down I think 2006 yeah. I think two th something like that uh, it's just before the garage piece uh, the large garage addition pool was in the 50s and then I will show you on the other side the original garage was on the Kind of on the other side of where the sunroom is, just that good, right? which is surprising. Yeah. yeah, but yes and no surprising. It's like uh, I think it was lower, um, sure. uh, but the relationship to these old estates in the 30s was as much about the approach Absolutely. as it was the water, yeah. you know. And and it was so you're coming through this this pastoral landscape. It's very different than it feels right now. It's not about the approach right now. It's about the water but the house isn't really positioned to be about the water it was more about the approach and so there's a um, again it was it was like of a period that was addressing the site which isn't really the condition anymore Tim generally speaking everything we're seeing here in white is basically not original yeah, that's right everything that's white um, and everything else is, except for skylights, uh, uh, my assumption is original and looks original. Yeah. Could you, I, I'm really kind of stuck on that partial demolition yes. term. Can you explain that to me? I, I, I would call it, so, I don't know if it's semantics or not. Um, they, they're not demoing the great room. Correct. And they're recycling everything that's here. Right. So for me, 
um, that's different than having a company come in and, and knock it down and remove it in trucks. Okay. And so that's why I distinguish it by calling it a partial demolition. Okay. It may be <coughs> semantics, but I feel like it's, it's, um, it's quite a big difference. Okay. Yeah. Especially the uh, reusing one of the last remaining kind of nice interior pieces of the, of the house. Yep. This area in here, um, within bluff and building line setbacks, is roughly the It's a golf green. It's actually a putting green and uh, and uh, sand trap and a couple of sand traps. Yeah. But the the this the work over the buff that was done in I think the uh, 80s um, 90s maybe um, is in really poor disrepair. We walk down there Wednesday and it's, uh, it's a it's a challenge even just to get down there. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, so they would be redoing that, and so then uh, we've um, consulted with a bluff expert, AECOM, to um, to give advice on restoration of the bluff, supporting it, and and they'll kind of prioritize that work as well. Okay. They had a number of dogs. Uh, and the Sandlers, the most recent owner, had, I believe the number is 10 adopted uh, children that uh, oh, nice. lived in the house mm -hmm. and grew up in the house. So for the I think, 40 or so years they were here, um, so the house was really well used, you know, uh, for, for at least the last 40 years of its life. at the drawing but the original garage was somewhere kind of between here this this new elevated lawn was part of of building the addition um, so that elevation wasn't original I don't believe uh, but the, the uh, original garage was somewhere I believe so because I really, I, looking at the drawings, it really looks like the uh, garage was that link piece plus the garage. And they did 20 years of designs for the garage. I mean, there's, there's multiple versions and architects and things. And, um, and yeah. then they ended up with this, which I actually feel like was...
So uh, this is new four bay garage with uh, full living space below and full living space above. Um, all from uh, about 15 years ago or so. Um, and unremarkable, just, it's just as you see. It's, it's kind of um, uh, inexpensive um, drywall carpet paint. And we, we can go through those or not, and we haven't been doing, we, I'm happy to. Would you like to go through those? Uh, I don't see the need unless you do. No, it's fine. Okay. So then, I I think this is the new. Uh, this is the existing. This oh, is new. Yeah. Looking at the depth of yeah, doors. Yeah, it's just looking at that. The baseboard. Yeah, I mean, pretty much until you get to the front entry and beyond, everything has been done over multiple times with um, really basic builder level. Uh, materials. Okay. So, for instance, like this is pretty difficult through the house. interior renovation and little bits and pieces of existing stuff some doors maybe some bits of hardware and then there's new hardware I, I doubt that fireplace surround is at all so it's like it's a it's a mix The systems are now forced, at least forced cold air, I think forced cold and hot air. Um, I haven't been able to find any oil tanks or anything. I think they're, uh, everything has been converted to natural gas and they probably just left these in place. But everything is a... Uh, the tanks are buried out there somewhere. Yeah, that's, we will, uh, we will find out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you'll see that the camper downstairs is big enough that there are probably were tanks there that are no longer. So then, uh, again, 10 kids, big table. Yeah. This is where it's from the 60s um, or the 70s, I think. And then the, uh, the kitchen renovation, probably 80s. Uh, and again, nothing. Small stove for a tin plate. Well, so then. Now we have to talk about the stove, talk about the dishwasher. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, so, kind of like a, a cooking kitchen and then a, a eating kitchen would be my guess. Yeah. But still, yeah. Yeah, for that, for a lot of people. This is all new addition, starting here. Oh, we're back in that we're garden room. We're back in okay. this, what yeah. I wasn't looking. we're calling the sunroom, the sun room. Okay. among other things. So I did 
This is either 90s or 2000s. Lake Effect did um, this, the corner piece, and I think they ended up doing the garage. It's a little unclear. There were so many designs for it. Um, I'm, pretty sh I, I'm pretty sure they did all three of those pieces. Yeah. So this is the main main stair, not the main stair, it's the stair that services the basement, the second floor, and the third floor. Okay. It's, uh, so it's the kind of primary stair, then there's a decorative stair in the front that services just first to second floor. You can go that way. This was, is that corner addition piece. Um, uh, built in around 20 years ago or so, okay. but these were these were original in place, and then they added the walls and materials. Mm. I'm not sure. Do they want to save all? Those are beautiful. The doors, they really are, and they operate. You know, yeah. um, and. Um, they're replicated today, you know, uh, just to, uh, in thermal with thermal glass, so that they're you know, people can use them and and uh, not have so much cost into utilities. Okay, so then starting to get into. Uh, pieces of the house that were partially modified, not fully modified. This is in between, you can tell from the, the flooring and the baseboard has had some renovation. Uh -huh. uh, whereas this ante room to the powder room has some more original pieces, the tile I believe. Um, because they could have replicated that with drywall, but I think, I think so. I think it's, uh, and the... Medallion. Uh, yeah, the details. Mm -hmm. And then you see in other places it's gone to a wood crown. Yeah. So it's probably... Original. I think these interiors were renovated. They look like uh, newer oak. Um, and then the great room. Why don't we start with the? But some of the things like the fireplace surrounds were either purchased in um, places they visited and uh, and brought back, or or were original. Um, but some of them were were additions that, that owners did over time. They would find find something they love somewhere. Uh -huh. So this library space is one of the interiors that the Akrons are considering uh, 
designing a space around the house to um, to bring uh, the millwork to, um, and it's yet to be seen if we can do that. But that's a, that's the uh, intent. And there's super interesting fixtures like these these old lighting fixtures that come I've off. Never seen that. You have seen that, or haven't? I, have I've not, I had not seen that before, no. and I thought it was super interesting. Yes. There's like the, the oops, obligatory hidden <gasps> prohibition era bar. <laughs> uh, I wonder if Al was here. <laughs> um, so is the question of whether this is capable of being? Disassembled and reassembled. Or That's the one question: is can we do that with it? Uh, with it still looking okay? Uh -huh. um, my guess is, financially, it's probably similar cost to rep to replicate it new or to relocate it. Um, and then, um, and then, it's is there a space with windows and doors and things that we can design to to make that work in the new house? But the but. Uh, the hope is yes. Some more the doors. I love those. This is the front entry stair that goes just from main floor to second floor. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, the screw covers are This is the great room. And the proposal is to, you know, as the other parts of the house are removed, this is preserved, lifted, moved over to a different spot on the site and put on a new foundation. And then uh, renovated um, to be an appropriate kind of uh, accessory building, beach pavilion, or bluff pavilion. Bluff building. Cemetery, lake, um, back to uh, this landscape they hope to recreate as more of a prairie landscape. Uh, so really amazing views all around and then the new house. Um, and um, you know, it would be a place to, to go and uh, entertain or to have uh, special meals or to um, have it be uh, the what services the people being down at the beach for food and uh, drinks, etc. Um, it's kind of a, a multi-purpose accessory building, which like well, it's embraced over the last uh, five years. Yeah. So um, maybe worth discussing by comparison to the uh, the owners on the property that you saw on the way in. So it was all
everything you see that looks like that, aside from the yeah, I was looking at the baseboard, and I couldn't, yeah. it didn't feel like marble. And now you can tell the, uh, yeah, I can know. the outlets, the registers are all painted in the same the marble. Oh, yeah. Yes. So the upper two levels are kind of rambling collection of bedrooms and bathrooms. Um, we can just walk through, and they're all in similar kind of um, 70s, 80s, 90s renovated condition. So you'll have kind of this type of a feel of original, like, oh, I could imagine that this, uh -huh. there was a thought here in the 1930s as an architect. And then next to it, you have other spaces that just don't hold up. sitting area off the bedroom. Didn't realize these windows open into there before. It's been <laughs> yes, yeah. they, they kept all because it was yeah, um, yeah. They kept the outside windows um, either out of convenience or or uh, memory. So you can see over time there was this longing by different owners to be to to engage the lake more, you know. Sure. And 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 less and less happened in the front in the approach. The kind of tennis was like a uh, landscape was like a. healthy when they were here so it may have been that there was like built-in help uh, close by you know to sleeping here that's not uncommon there's a sauna Thirty-four, thinking how do I lay out a second-floor set of 
of escape bedrooms. It's, it's not like this. Double knot. Yeah. <laughs> so, obviously, kind of making use of all the space for yeah. for a super large Children. family. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of bedrooms. Yeah. So I uh, I can give you a little tour of the basement. Pretty interesting. Yeah. I'm going to follow everybody so I can turn the lights off. Okay. Uh, just, uh, no, I think just uh, access to okay. uh, small triangle space for um, probably heating the building. Just 
So you did it to already again? I'm sure yeah. it wasn't designed to be. So probably a few. I have it memorized by now. Oh, getting there. So 14,000 square feet is a first and second floor and third floor. If I had to guess, I would say it's first, oh, that's right. you second, said you got it all probably right. yeah. the third, not garage, not basement. Okay. That kind of feels about like that to me. But uh, I'll look back at the realtor listing and see, and sometimes the tax um, uh, records, yeah. assessment record for it, oh, yeah. will show exactly where they're counting it. Space under like a uh, great room, um, dining room, library, and then this. Oh my. Meanders back. Yeah, there's. Is this operational? It looks like. Um, and we were trying to decide if it, it looks like a uh, kind of dual sump. Uh, Who cares? Uh, yeah, stuff. <laughs> Um, I think they have a little tape on there for it. And they and it may have had to do with well. I don't know. It seems very institutional for some. Um, my guess is they had oil tanks there from that step down. That that's where oil oh, was, and then sure. they replaced uh, them with, a, with all natural with all natural gas uh -huh. uh, furnaces. Makes the valve make sense. Yeah. Right. That's an old furnace room. Instead of all That's iron pipes. Yeah, so it's working. Wow. Um, I don't I know. Like there wasn't enough. Yeah. 
<laughs> so this was added with the uh, yes. addition. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the, the curved end you can see. Yeah. I mean, I wish we had a storage like this at Village Hall, but you know, I don't know if, I, <laughs> if I need it after the first two years. <laughs> Um, I, I mentioned to Glenn, I actually was in the home several weeks ago when they had the estate sale. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. So the family who lived here before loved to entertain, obviously, by the estate sale. So they probably had this to house some of that. Yeah, probably. I, I, we were in uh, before the estate sale, and uh -huh. I do think I recall that there were um, like catering type. Mm -hmm. Supplies and stuff down right, here. Right. Yeah, yeah, I think that's right. Hence the addition, probably. Yeah, yeah, I think that's probably right. More uh -huh. for that than, than family needs. Right. Yeah. So that's the whole house. Yeah. Thank you. Can I answer any so. questions or? Uh, I honestly don't think I have any yet. Did a wonderful job taking this through, explaining. It's good to see it without yeah. a lot of other things in there. Yeah, it's it's it, it is a different feeling before and after um, everything being moved yeah. out. Yeah. Um, it is certainly a, a home of the '30s with all the smaller rooms. Yes. Yeah, and then an occasional room that opens up mm -hmm. uh, widely. Um, Yeah, I think yeah, it is. Yeah. But the facade, the whole front, is still really intact I mean, as it. Up to, on the front side, up to the garage, yeah. Correct. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm good. Okay. Thanks, Lois. Thanks for taking Thank the you. time to come out. I appreciate it. Yeah. And your partner? Uh, he's he's uh, being a good partner of turning off lights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there are a few to turn off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And thank you both. Yeah. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Eric. All right.